Um, I am Michael Jason Francis. This is New Toy Robot. Um, this is basically, I need to find, uh, more reason to draw, uh, more. Um, <laughs> it's always important to draw every day. Uh, keeps your skills fresh. Um, keeps you from forgetting how to draw. I don't know. Um, so this, this is going to be my excuse to at least draw every Wednesday night. Uh... Jared Leto, why you ask? I have no idea. It might be because I keep hearing about all these terrible things about, uh, I'm going to say it wrong, Morpheus, Morbius, the vampire movie he's in from Marvel, uh, Sony and Marvel, I think it's Marvel's thing. Um, so I was like, hey, I'm going to draw Jared Leto. If you don't know who Jared Leto is besides that, he was the uh, hot guy from uh, um, My So-Called Life. If you're as old as I am, then you know that show um <laughs> but yeah jared leto he's been in a ton of ton of different things uh he was the blonde guy on fight club that um what's his name pummeled till he wasn't pretty anymore uh he was in geez louise he's a, he's the lead singer of the band 30 seconds to mars so jared leto that's that's who i'm gonna draw and what i'm gonna do is my plan is this is i'm going to draw a cartoon version of jared leto a comic book version of Jared Leto and then like a straight up just like a real life drawing of Jared Leto. Wait, real life drawing? A life drawing of Jared Leto? Yeah, does that make sense? Um, and you're probably wondering what's the difference between a cartoon and a comic book? One's on TV, the other's <laughs> on paper. I don't know. I don't know if there's much of a difference, but there's going to be, that's going to be the different versions I'm going to draw of him tonight. So thank you for joining me. Um, I'm you know what? I don't know what Jared Leto looks like off the top of my head. I kind of have an idea. Um, so I'm using my good old phone here uh, to... <laughs> oh, hey, there's Wikipedia stuff. He's 50 years old. He was born in 1971. I did not realize he's that old. And damn him for still looking good at 50. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, so... Um, Okay, I'm not going to go into the Wikipedia of Jared Leto. Uh, but I am going to go look at images because I just want to have some things up so I have a general idea of what he kind of looks like. Um, I'm definitely going to start with the cartoon first. Um, I'm using... Hold on, let me get to see if I can get this stand up here. Uh, I'm drawing on my animation board. Uh, here, let me pull this up real quick. Um... I'm drawing, I'm using my animation pegboard uh, just because I have a lot of animation paper and I don't really have a sketchbook that I want to start doing this in just yet. Maybe eventually it will be a sketchbook. Uh, if you watch the show, just da just draw the damn thing. Uh, that was also here on New Toy Robot. You can catch the past episodes on YouTube, which you should be following New Toy Robot on YouTube because all the videos, everything that I do here live ends up on uh, YouTube, on the New Toy Robot channel. So check that out um but uh if you were watching just draw the dance thing I, you saw that i actually completed i filled a whole sketchbook with all the drawings i did from that show uh which was very cool because never in my life <laughs> have i ever filled a complete sketchbook of drawings so that was pretty cool to do uh so anyways no sketchbook you're gonna use my animation board i got a bunch of paper here um so yeah this should be fun uh, this actually lights up. I don't know if you're familiar with animation boards like stuff like this, but this one actually lights up in the back so you can see what you're actually drawing and stuff like that. Um, so let's start first with the uh, cartoon uh, Jared Leto. And I'm going to try, for the cartoon at least, I'm going to try and do the whole body, head, all that fun stuff. Uh, as I progress to, well, no, comic book was probably the same, but maybe the life drawing one is going to be probably just his head. Who knows? I don't know. Not in that he got his head cut off kind of way, but just his head. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyways, so here we go. Let's see here. Um, now, I'm... A lot of people, when they start drawing... This is by no means an art class. <laughs> I took a couple art classes. I'm not an art teacher. This is not an art class. If you, This is basically just me drawing, a chance to draw. And you could draw at home, too. You could find pictures of Jared Leto wherever you want, or if you know what he looks like. Um, just go ahead and draw. Um, but yeah, so um, I always start with the head. I usually start with the head and the eyes. And I feel like if I've gone that far and it looks okay, 
especially with the eyes that I can continue with, continue with the drawing. Other than that, I no, I, it won't look right to me. So uh, I'm starting with the head and the eyes, and I guess I should, you know, I'm just gonna put, you know, this is where the this is where his feet are gonna end up. I'm gonna plant this drawing down. Uh, so, you know, it's funny. I start with a circle, but he has such a rectangular face. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a rectangular face. That's what I'm gonna do. Instead of the circle, he's getting the rectangle face. Ha ha! Take that, Jared Leto. Um, I I don't specifically look to watch Jared Leto movies. Uh, I just never. I don't know. Nothing of his ever really jumped out at me. I mean, Fight Club was cool, but I didn't watch it a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't really particularly look for Jared Leto stuff. Uh, but not to say there's anything wrong with him. Uh, let me see what this guy's nose looks like. He's got an interesting little nose. Okay, so it's just okay. He's got really like a straight brow, so I'm just gonna go. And you know what? I usually don't really put that much structure into my drawings either. So if it looks like I'm trying to be all cool and like show structure on this, I'm really not. Um, I'm just trying to be aware that there should be some type of structure here. Uh, so let's just do. We're doing just a little cartoon nose of Jared Leto. There we go. Okay, and he's got some really thick eyebrows. So I'm gonna put his eyebrows in already. Okay, he's got really thick eyebrows, like so. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed to hear. You know, I try not to uh, go by reviews when it comes to a movie I'm particularly interested in. And since this is Marvel, I, I, I would have gone to have seen it. Um, just because, uh, especially with Sony, I <laughs> if you watched uh, my little Lego build on, the, uh, on Monday, you notice how I said... How uh, Venom was neutered with the Sony. I did like the movie, but he was kind of neutered. Uh, but I do like uh, what Sony's been has done recently, from like um, Into the Spider Verse and like I said, the Venom movies. I'm curious where they're gonna take their Marvel characters because they still own the rights to Spider Man and Venom and all stuff like that. They're just kind of lending them to. Um, okay, hold on. Let's get design here. Uh, lending them to Marvel. Okay, so there we got some eyes here, Mr. Jared Leto. Now. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw him with a beard. Yeah, I'm gonna draw him with a beard, just cause since he pretty much rocks a beard all the time now. So I will keep the beard thing happening with him. Um. But yeah, I, I like I said, I was trying. I try not. I try not to go by the reviews, um, just cause I don't want any spoilers or anything like that. Um. But it just happened on. What did I, I came across something and somebody was talking with their director and I think the director even admitted it was bad. I don't know, but, um, yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm a little disappointed and worried that this might not be anything I would want to see. I wanted to see cause I was curious if they were going to tie it into like Venom, the Venom universe and maybe Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, like maybe something was going to happen with that. But, um, yeah, I don't. Jared Leto is really lanky, so I'm going to go with the big lankiness of him. Okay, and I'm going to keep him really thin, because the guy, I swear, if, he probably doesn't even eat a sandwich. Um, that was rude. That was rude. Um, I'm just jealous because he's so thin, maybe. It's uh, <laughs> my own issues here. Uh, but, yeah, I, I was hoping it would at least be decent, and it sounds like it's pretty much not. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to put him in a suit because I see him a lot in a suit. Um, so I'm going to do that. Oh, here's a picture of him. Not joking. There's a picture of him carrying a head, his own head. So let me see if I can do that. Look at that. It's a picture of Jared Leto holding his own head. I'm assuming this is a Met Gala thing, uh, but that's him holding his head. So that's um, that's interesting. I would love to be so famous where I could do stuff, weird stuff like that, where I could just show up and have like a fake severed head of myself and people be just like oh my god he's so cool look at him go um oh this is crazy so i didn't watch house of Gu gucci um but look at that's him that's jared leto in that um that is really crazy um sorry <laughs> i digress uh so let's do i'm gonna do the suit thing and give him a suit put the phone back over here um here we go. So let's do this. 
I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do that. Go. There, okay. Sure, why not? I'm going to have this hand in his pocket. So, hand in his jacket pocket. And then over here. Um, yeah, I was never a fan of that character anyways that he does play in the movie. Uh... Morpheus, Morbius, what? It's Morbius. I don't know. I keep getting confused with uh, what's his name from uh, the. Whoop, hold on. Uh, with what's his name from uh, the Matrix? Okay, so there's his suit. Let's just have him with an, a button, unbuttoned shirt there, and pants. Man needs pants. Okay, already I think. And most of the time, I think these are going to be just kind of like sketches. Uh, we'll see how full on I go into these things. Um, but I just want to have the opportunity. Okay, let's let's get his hand in here. Okay, and then here's his other leg. I've already kind of gone too far here. Let's get it. Let's have him barefoot. Okay. Okay, he's going to be barefoot because that just seems like something he would do. He's walking the red carpet barefoot. So there's his feet, big toes. Might have made his feet too big. Who knows? Um, there's this. Oh, I f and let's do his hair. I should probably do this guy needs some hair. So he's rocking the long locks. Yeah, it's funny. I don't know how many people out there watched my so-called life. Um, it only was like one season, and then like Claire Danes became really famous, and Jared Leto became really famous, and then they just kind of stopped the show. Um, so it only did one season. I don't even remember how it ended, um, but it was pretty good. You know, he was basically you know what Jared Leto was like the Winnie Cooper of um, my so-called life. If you don't know who Winnie Cooper is. <laughs> Winnie Cooper is, um, that's very cartoon-like. Uh, Winnie Cooper was in uh, Wonder Years with Fred Savage uh, back in the 80s, early 90s, I think. Um, so, yeah, he was like the Winnie Cooper. Um, and uh, he, he caused so much grief to Clary Danes. This looks weird, but I guess that's him. That's like a cartoon version of him. I don't know what's happening with his leg here. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's kind of cartoony. This is my warm-up drawing, everybody. This is my warm-up drawing. I apologize. Uh, hi, Dahlia Love. Welcome. <laughs> Dahlia Love, I'm sure you watch my so-called life, right? You get the whole Winnie Cooper thing. That makes sense. Okay, I'm grabbing another sheet of paper here. Moving this. Okay. Yes, but more tormented. Yes, he was definitely more tormented. Um, he was. He was definitely. He was definitely brooding. Um, not as well as David Boreanaz did bro brooding in Buffy, but uh, he was definitely broody. Okay, so now I'm going to try and do comic book Jared Leto. Now, I'm trying to think, I want to make sure it, it stays away from his version of the Joker, which is just awful. <laughs> I wasn't going to complain about him, but oh my God, his version of the Joker was so bad. I still don't understand that when he had the, the smiley face here and he was always making his little laughy thing. He was covered in tattoos. I just, I did not like his version of the Joker. Um, I'm, I don't know if it was the director's choice or his choice. And you know, Jared Leto's like a method actor. So could you imagine, that must have been so annoying with him just being the Joker 24 seven uh, during that shoot for Suicide Squad. Um, I could just, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, so I'm gonna draw a comic book, I'm gonna draw a comic book Jared Leto, uh, hopefully. Uh, let me take a look here, I'm gonna see something here. Uh, let me flip through these here, you can see the pictures I'm flipping through. Um, oh, here you go. <laughs> uh, Jared Leto on Twitter, thanks for the birthday wishes. Okay, like there's no way he was eating this cake right here. Clear, there's no way. Uh, what about the Joaquin Phoenix as Joker? Wait, Joaquin Phoenix as Joker? 
When was Joaquin Phoenix's? Oh, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. No, no, yes. I didn't mind that. That was very, very disturbing, though. Uh, hi, Elizabeth, welcome. Hi, I'm glad you made it. Um, I, I, um, I, I, it was so disturbing. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix's uh, Joker. Um, I, I did like it. I've only seen it twice. I think I've, I've seen it twice. I saw it once in the theater and once at home. Um, and it was just really disturbing. I, I didn't hate it. I did like it. Um, it. It was, yeah. So, but yeah, Jared Leto's, I just, I, there's just no way. Man, this guy, look at, he's got some swagger to him. Look at that. He's got this whole Liberace thing happening. This is recent. This is at the, this is at the more... Morpheus, Morbius. I'm never going to say it right at the premiere. Like, check this out. Like, that is some swagger. Um, anyway, uh, he looks like Randy Ma Macho Man Savage, if you know who that was. I have to say was, because I think he passed away. Uh, so edgy, I roll. <laughs> That's Dagulo. Um, let me just see. I'm trying to find just like... Oh my gosh, here. This is it. Here you go. Winnie Cooper of My So-Called Life. I, I, I'm, I think I've coined that. That's the... That's my phrase now. I own that. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth, yes. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, Elizabeth, did you watch My So-Called Life? Um, but, yeah, that's him from My So-Called Life. Oh, look at him. Here you go. Look at that. North Face, whatever that is. Okay. Well, there we go. He is just, he is something else. I can't believe it. I don't know if you guys heard me earlier. Jordan, that was his name. I couldn't remember his name. Um, oh, Elizabeth, okay, you did watch it. Um, so he's 50. It looks good for 50. Um, okay, so I am going to draw a comic book version of Jared Leto. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be some type of action pose. Uh, so let me see here. Gosh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, <laughs> Daddy Love, wow, I'm old. What? Yeah, he's 50. It's crazy. I know. Everyone's freaking out. Um, it, Jeez, I didn't think about how I was going to do this. Like, when I started drawing the cartoon version of him, which was kind of my warm-up, I was like, boy, I'm going to be in trouble here. This is rough. Okay, so I'm going to draw a comic book version of Jared Leto. Um, I need, like, a comic book pose. Um, let's see. What can I have him doing? I'm going to just... Have him do like a superhero stance. Let's do superhero stance. Here we go. I'm gonna do superhero stance. Okay, so we're gonna have this here. And then leg here. Sure, that's gonna that'll work. Um, we'll have his arm going back this way. And then the other arm will be over here. God, this is really going. <laughs> this is really going to be tough. Oh my God, I kind of hate myself for this. Okay, um, I'm going to stick with the same rectangle head thing. Uh, I'm going to still. I'm going to stick with that because it definitely feels right. Uh, keeping that rectangle head for him, uh, and then. He is kind of buff, so I'm going to keep some, get some muscles going on him. Um, okay, so his chest is going to go here. I'm, I'm, this is literally, I literally talk to myself when I'm doing these things. So there is nothing fake about what's happening right now. Wait, if he's going back, where's his thumb going to be? His thumb's going to be over here. If anybody sees me messing up, please tell me because. Oh, God, he's got to have... Comic book characters always have five fingers. Cartoon characters have four fingers most of the time. Uh, comic book characters have to have five. So I need to fix this. Uh, I think what I'll do is I will combine... Yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll combine here and then make this over here. Yes! Okay, so that's going to be... Okay, that'll be it. Okay. I want to really flesh this out so it looks <laughs> semi-decent. Um... I'm not going to make him a villain because he's already a villain in, Mor in Morbius. So, Morbius, Morpheus. Could somebody help me with this? Morbius? It's Morbius. Why can't I remember this? I've read the comic. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's see what the face is going to look like. I'm going to give him 
Let's do his eyes first. He definitely always has like the dark bags under his eyes. So I'm gonna do, okay, I'm just gonna do like these little diamond shaped eyes. There we go, that looks decent. And then he's got those big bushy, bushy eyebrows. So I'm gonna stick with those. Um, more B, oh, <laughs> more BS. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> but I've heard, I, that's what's sad is I've heard it's bad and that's what's very upsetting. Um, because, you, you know what, you never really want these films to fail, you know. Um, I'm going to give him a little. No matter how much you, like, dislike the actor, I guess. Or uh, Let's see, should I have him showing teeth? Like doing a uh kind of thing. Um, let's do. This looks like he's constipated, but it's fine. Let's do that. I'm not giving him fangs. He's not going to be a vampire. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, there. <laughs> this looks weird. Hold on. This is not working out right. Let me. Let me. Let me. Hold on. Let me get a chin in here. It looks like he's hulking at. It looks like he's hulking at out here. Let me give him big ears. He seems like a big ear type of guy. He has a really slim face, so I gotta make sure I keep it slim. Okay. And then I want to keep those bags under his eyes. Let's just color this whole part in black here. Here's his eyebrows. I was gonna do this all originally just in ink, uh, but I feel like I've done that before already. Let's just keep this like that. Okay. There we go. And I'm gonna bring this area over a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Got some comic book going on here. And then he's got his parted hair. Uh, oh, I, do I want to do his beard? I should probably do his beard. But anyways, I like what's happening with the face so far, so I feel good. So I'm going to stop there for right now. Wait, I do want to... All the shadowing seems to be happening on this side, so let's just keep that there. Um, and let me just see here. So if he's doing this, so we're going to get kind of... Let me see what I'm looking at here. Oop, ba -doo. Okay, hold on here. Uh, like that. Okay. Uh, there. I'm really bad at anatomy, especially when I'm not like... I like having a reference photo. Of, especially when it's a position, uh, like a pose or something. But I'm going to just do it like this. I think that looks about right. Okay. And this is going to have to come back a bit more. I just realized that. So this is going to be connected into here. Okay. Yes, beards are hot. Okay, beards are going. Doing the beard. He's getting the beard. Um, let's see here. Okay, we're doing the beard. I am just scribbling on a beard. Oh, okay, scribbled too hard and I broke the lead. Two seconds. We do something very unrock and roll and sharpen my pencil. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did I do it? Nope, not yet. Okay, oh, there we go, perfect. Uh, Yeah, that'll fine. I'll just have to make sure that I do not press too hard. I'm notorious for putting way too much pressure onto my pencils when I draw, especially when I'm sketching. Um, it's just the thing that I do. Um, I don't, for me, like drawing, especially when you're sketching, it's for me, it's like sculpting. So you're like building it and working it and kind of getting your form and stuff. So that's kind of my excuse for drawing so hard when I get to these things. Um, okay, so that's working out there. This is going to be... Okay, so if his chest is going here... Okay, now i got to figure this out here. Let's... I'm going to cheat 
and put a belt buckle here just because that'll help with the perspective a bit and here's his belt I'm drawing completely ass backwards I don't some people just lay out all the stuff and then make it all pretty I'll start throwing detail in right away um, just so I could see it starting to come through um, so here's that okay so there's a belt. You know, I'm going to give him a cool utility belt kind of thing. So there. <laughs> Instant utility belt on that side. Now, this is where it's going to get crazy. So um, I never thought I'm saying this, but I got to draw Jared Leto's crotch right or else the perspective is going to throw everything off. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to. So this is all going to come this way. His knee's going to be here, I imagine. Um, okay. I'm, trying to, I'm really bad at uh, anatomy, and um, creases in clothing is always awful for me. Creases in clothing, clothing are always kind of the worst. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to say he's wearing just regular pants. I'm not putting him in like a superhero outfit. I'm just putting him in regular old pants. Um... And now that's going to creep up like that. And so I'm going to do this here. It's going to come up. Hold on. This is going to come up like that. I'm trying to do a superhero pose here. Here's his knee. I'm going to do a, a little square thing here for his knee. And then this looks weird. Why does this look so weird? Um, I think the perspective is really off on this. I'm going to keep going. Here we go. Um, I'm, instead of having his foot forward, I'm going to do one of these things. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. That's kind of a foot. Okay. Continuing with the pants. I guess that makes sense. I think this would come out this way, though. Okay. And that's going to go out like. That's his other foot. Um, I used to always make fun of Rob Lenfield. He's a comic book artist because he couldn't draw feet. Um, but I can't really draw feet either. So, you know, as you can see, <laughs> I am trying though. So this looks kind of superhero like pose like, I guess. Um, let me finish here. I'm going to have him wearing just like a regular shirt that he has the sleeves rolled up on because he like rolled up his sleeves to get to work to do his method acting stuff. I heard so apparently he's got like crutches and a limp in uh, Morbius, Morpheus. I'm going to keep saying it that way. Uh, thank you, Dowie Love. Um, Morbius, Morpheus, <laughs> one of the two. And he's got a limp and, you know, Jared Leto is like a notorious method actor. And so uh, during like he, when he was always on set, he was always wearing the crutches or have some limp. And I guess he uh, constantly, whenever he was using the bathroom or something, let me put a shadow here. Uh, whenever he was using the bathroom, it would take so long for his bathroom breaks because he would go on crutches or he would go with a limp. And so the uh, director, the way he found a way around that is that he would bring a wheelchair on set and Jared Leto would get wheeled to the restroom. Um, I think that's a real story. It might not be. Uh, but <laughs> so there you go. There's some information for you. Uh, so I think I've got it pretty good here. You know, what? I'm going to just, I'm going to darken this in here like so my shadows are kind of all over the place. Oh my God. He doesn't have hair. Hold on. Let's, let's do some crazy wispy hair thing. Uh, there's this. There we go. I feel like <laughs> this kind of looks like Jared Leto, maybe. Who knows? Let's get this hair going here. There is. <laughs> what a noob. <laughs> hey, we all have our things, right? I'm going to color this part here. Um, there we go. So that's it. There we go. That's my. That is my comic book, Jared Leto. I think that works. 
I think that's good, right? That came out pretty good. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, comic book Jared Leto. There we go. Now, this one is going to be... Okay, I'm going to try and go for more of a realistic... Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, thank you, Daddy Love. Um, I'm going to go for a more of a, a realistic Jared Leto this time. Um, I am going to go back to the photos. As I bump into the camera. I am going to go back into the photos just because... You know what? I'm going to do young Jared Leto. I'm going to do... I'm going to do straight up young Jared Leto. This is it. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, so bear with me here. I'm going to do this. Um, and hopefully this will work out. If not, I apologize. Um, one thing I'm having issues with, so I'm, I have a camera here. And I have my laptops over on the other side of this. So I can't really, I'm going to turn this just a little bit. There we go. That'll work. Okay, so here we go. I this is like this is like really stressful for me because like if I mess up, I mess up in front of everybody, which is fine. I, I it's good to mess up because that's what you learn from your mistakes. But it feels so intimidating. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm I'm going with the circle on this because young Jared Leto was a little more plump. Plump's not right. Thick. That's not right either. Anyways, he wasn't like how he is now. So I'm going to just... So I'm going to go with the circle. I'm going to try and see if I can actually do this. Okay. Get the shape of his face here. He's got he's got a wicked chin. Um, okay, so this is going to go like this. And put it into his ear. Okay. Okay, so this is that. You baby faced Elizabeth. That's perfect. That's a less cram crummy way of saying it than I did. <laughs> I think he was like 30 when he was, I think this is him at 30 though. Like I remember something crazy. Like he was like 30 years old when he was on this show. I think, I think that's, yeah, I think he was like 30 when he did it. Uh, when he did my so-called life. Cause it was something weird like that. Like he was, he was really, he was like super old. Okay. Um, Let's see here. You gotta get really into here. I wanna see his eyes. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, well, this just looks it's like he's gonna be looking up. Um, there you go, like this. So like I said, if you heard me earlier, I always have to draw the eyes first. Um, just so I know that something is going to actually work on this. And then his other eye is going to be over here. Okay. Whoop. Guess that kind of works. <laughs> We'll see. I haven't used an eraser yet. I don't know why I'm not. I'm, I'm working with pencil, so I should be able to use an eraser, but I don't know why I'm not doing that just yet. Okay, so there we go. He's got, let's see, he's got a nose over here. This all kind of. Okay. Like, look at these eyebrows, man. He's got, like, Brooke Shields eyebrows. Um. I don't need to explain who Brooke Shields is, do I? I don't think I do. Um, there's this. And then here. Like, could you imagine if you look like this guy during high school? Like, how easy would high school have been if you were, like, Jared Leto hot? Right? Like, could you imagine, like, that was <laughs> how you looked in high school? That's, that's crazy. Life is weird. Um, but wait, this is him in 30. This is him at, like, 30. So I have to find it. I have to see if I can find a picture of Jared Leto, like, when he was actually high school age, you know? Because I think every, everyone's just awkward in high school. I think that even like the people that are hot now, they just weren't hot then kind of thing. Is that how it works? I'm going to say that's how it works. OK, 
okay. Is his nose coming out weird? There we go. I'm just going to do a slight little whoop a doo. I think that's looking okay. Not Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, no. Elizabeth Taylor was always was always like good looking. She never she always did. Well, yeah, I mean, that's just not that's just I think what it is is there's just some people that are just that's just how it is, you know. Um Sal Minio, Jesus Christ, Sal Minio was always just like really good looking. He never didn't look good. Um Okay, so I think I'm doing okay with the eyes. I'm okay with that. He's got a his lips are um Let's see, let's see how we're gonna wait. Something's up with the nose. The nose looks weird. Why is that bugging me so much? Hold on. Up there. There's like a thing. It kinda comes around here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And Brooke Shields, yes. Once again, Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields, if you're watching, because I'm sure you're watching on Twits. Twits. <laughs> Twitch. Okay, here we go. Moving right along. Let's see if I can do these lips right. You got like literally like this. And these aren't pouty lips. Uh, do guys have pouty lips? I feel like I think his mouth should be a little bit lower. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Dagulum. Um Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm go I'm bringing out the eraser. I need to bring in the eraser because this is not working. Okay, I gotta fix that. And I know you're supposed to do all the lines to break it all down on how it's supposed to lay out the structure and all this, but it's just it's not happening this time. You know, let me let me get into the rest of his face. Hold on. He's got high cheekbones, like you do. And this kind of goes here. And then Let's see. I'm gonna drop his mouth a little bit lower. This seems, yeah. So I'm gonna his top of the top of his lips will go here, bottom of the lips go here, and then that goes here. I'm sure there's like a technique on how to draw the perfect lips, um, but I haven't found it yet. I'm sure it's out there. I'm just lazy. <laughs> so this here. Got that little smirk thing. Okay. That look okay? Seems weird. I think that's okay. You know, I think that's okay. <laughs> I'll play with it later. I think that's okay. He's got this, like, like that. Okay. I think the nose is what's really bothering me. But I, let's just continue. I want to try and get the structure here. Um, okay. There we go. I can't believe I'm drawing Jared Leto from my so-called life. <laughs> uh, you just, you just, you really never know what's going to happen in life, you know? Okay, that is some, that is a seriously big ear. Fix that. Bring out the eraser again. Okay. Get that neck in there. <laughs> ah, thanks, Aggie Love. Next week will be Fred Savage. <laughs> I totally should. You know what's so funny is my cousin was in an episode of The Wonder Years, and I specifically remember when it when he did that, and I was so excited because my mom went on set. My mom went on set with him. Why did my mom go on set? I don't know why, uh, but my mom went on set and she came home. And she got me like Fred Savage's like autograph, 
I remember thinking that was the coolest thing. Um, I have no idea where that autograph is right now. Um, but I just remember getting Fred Savage's autograph and thinking, this is so cool. I have Fred Savage's autograph. So, <laughs> um, here we go. So this part, I like this five o'clock shadow thing happening. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stormy's watching. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I, I definitely take dog requests, Elizabeth. Um, so, <laughs> you know, maybe Stormy's just falling in love with Jared Leto. That might be what's happening. Jared Leto is loved by all. So, well, maybe not anymore. I mean, I think he's loved by all. I think he's loved by all. Okay, so let's figure out this guy's hairline. Um, it's crazy. Uh, he's got the whole what is his name i was uh not what i jonathan the guy from sequest the guy from ladybugs why can't i remember his name jonathan brandis he's got jonathan the jonathan brandis hair thing happening um if you don't know who jonathan brandis is um congratulations you're really young uh <laughs> so he's got the hair in his face let's bring this back a little bit so i can get his, all his hair in here um look linkedin okay here we go hold on remind me next time to put my phone into airplane airplane mode is that how it works um <laughs> brandis there we go yes 90s hair i can't believe you didn't mention it oh my gosh yes he was in it yeah of course um that's right he was in it that was crazy okay the TV version of it. Sorry, the TV version of it, not the not the newest one. Um, okay. Okay, his hair's over here. Yeah, the '90s had some hairstyles, huh? I guess I should have said the Jason Priestley hairstyle. Does that make sense, Jason Priestley? No, Jason Priestley had a different type of hairstyle. Okay. Brian Austin Green. Brian Austin Green had that weird hair helmet thing. Or at least he did it for the first two seasons. It was like a hair helmet. It was really weird. Oh, let me darken his eyebrows. I am going to try and shade this shadow, shade this a bit more. Let me just darken in these eyebrows. There we go. This looks very anime to me. I don't know if I'm getting the life drawing out of this <laughs> you're living for your leto hair could you i wish i wish like even when i had hair i wish i had hair like this um like oh my god i i like f this guy <laughs> oh my god oh but i digress i have no issues with jared leto and his perfect hair and his perfect face and his perfect everything um, I don't know why I'm drawing Jared Leto. I think I'm just, this is just making me hate myself. <laughs> okay, so we got more hair here. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Dalyalum. Um, here we go. And there we go. Let's draw his jacket. Like that. Okay. Okay, there's the jacket. He's got his little t-shirt. It's like, look at me, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I don't know what's happening right now. Okay. It's fuzzy. It's a fuzzy kind of thing here. So I'll make it more fuzzy. This looks very anime to me. I don't know if I'm doing real life or not, but this looks very anime to me. Uh, let's go. I'm going to do some more detail in the eyes. He's got, at least he has tiny eyelashes, you know? Um, so there you go. So let's. Okay, and you got this.
And let's go like that. Okay. Oh, where's the other? Ah, oh, that got scary. Okay. Other eyes here. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? This is all kind of in shadow, so let's just shade this in a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then he had this whole his chin thing happening here. Kind of didn't do that. It's more rounded out for his chin, but. <laughs> Oh, Jared Leto. Okay. Um, oh, look, he's got an a his little Adam's apple here. Let's just put that in like so. Let's put a little shadow here. Go you know, a couple little happy happy trees here. <laughs> this is my Bob Ross moment. Um, okay, did that, and let's do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this is too much uh i think i am done with this so this is my jared leto let's see what this is. let's see here i don't know i think my so-called life jared leto i think that looks weird maybe that's him who knows <laughs> oh god that'll just have to work for today um <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me uh, for this. There's no name for this show. I keep saying let's draw, but that's there's no name for this show. Uh, this is just me getting a chance to draw uh, and bring you guys along with me. If you guys, for some reason, at some point draw Jared Leto, uh, anything as a cartoon, as a comic book character, uh, some life drawing of him, uh, please post it. We're on Instagram and Twitter at New Toy Robot. Post it on there. Like I said, this is this is live here on Twitch. You're live with me now. Um, but it, it will be on YouTube. Uh, not so live. So follow us on YouTube also uh, for New Toy Robot. Uh, I'm Michael Jason Francis. Hopefully I'll see you guys again uh, next Wednesday for some more drawing fun. <laughs> F and Jared Leto. Anyways, have a good night. Thank you so much. And I will see everybody next time.